all kinds of details in here for us to create sticker clusters without us having to go to like any other sticker books. So I love her designs. This is her third sticker book that she has put out there. Are Hi, welcome back to my channel where I share all things planner related, flip throughs, unboxings, plan with me's, and tips and tricks for you to use in your planner. Thank you so much for joining me in another video. I am excited to share this sticker book, Hidden Jungle, with you. This is by Casthetic Plans, and Cassie is the owner behind Casthetic Plans. I will have her link down below in the description. I am an affiliate of hers, and I greatly appreciate if you shop uh, for any of her items that you use my link. So let's go ahead and take a look at Hidden Jungle. And I am going to do a plan with me in a dashboard layout. So excited to do that. All right, so here is the first collection that we're looking at. Um, beautiful like leaves from jungle leaves. I'm loving the color palettes. We've got a few different color palettes in here to choose from. Now she does have a combination of paper and clear stickers. So that first page is paper and then this is clear. So she's giving us some options here. And then this one here is paper. I like the hexagons. Those are really cute. And then um, these elements on the side. So there's two pages of those, and those are paper. And then we have some other decorative elements that are great for layering pieces. So these are, again, two pages, and these are on clear sticker paper. Then we have the boxes to coordinate in the color palettes in various sizes, and she is using up the room to, um, you know, the maximum capacity there, which is really nice. And then we have another page here with some more boxes, uh, different sizes. And down here, you're gonna notice these three blocks, but these are actually dots. So we've got dots in all three of the color palettes, which I love the way that she did that. So that is really nice. All right, now we've got a couple of pages of already created sticker clusters for us to go ahead and use. So she has created these so you can just pull the whole sticker cluster off and lay that down in your planner, which makes for like a really nice and easy way for you to go ahead and decorate your spread. Works great if you're short on time, or if maybe you are a newbie and you're not really quite sure how to layer things up, this is a great way for you to like, look at how she has created the things, and then you can go ahead and, um, you know, create your own, and you've got all of the elements there to do it. So there's two pages of that. Now we're into the next collection, which is much brighter. I love these. These are so pretty. All the tropical florals in here and the greenery. And we've got that really pretty like golden um, coloring in here. Love that pink. So that first page was paper and then this is clear. So it's going to kind of follow the same um, design as the first collection that we looked at. And then here we've got some beautiful um, birds. I love that, look at that, the toucan, the parrot, the flamingo, and a hummingbird. And this is on paper, and this one is on clear sticker paper, so super pretty. Now we've got these just kind of like splotches of paint color. Love the vibrant colors on here. And these are both on clear sticker paper. Then we've got the boxes that coordinates along with additional sizes and dots over here. All right, and then here is the already created clusters for us, which is so nice. I love that. And there's two pages that are the same. And those, of course, are on paper because, of course, you're going to want to be able to write on them. All right, here's the last collection in this book. And this is so pretty with the waterfalls. How pretty is that? I love waterfalls. They're just so calm and beautiful. Uh, just oh, the serenity of it. I really, really love that. We've got a lot of bouquets of tropical, like, um, leaves and such here. 
And then we have this page, which is the clear sticker paper. And then here are some more waterfalls. Love that. I think these are all different. Yeah, these are all different. So pretty. And these, that one was paper, and this one is on a clear sticker paper. And then here are the little decorative elements. We've got some ink blots. We've got some like um, animal print patterns, like cheetah patterns there. That's really, really cute. I love like the little swatches. And these are both the same and both on clear sticker paper. And then we have the boxes that will coordinate in the colors. And then the other page of boxes with the dots. And then her uh, ones that she has created. So we've got two pages of that. All right, so that is everything in the Hidden Jungle by Cosmetic Plans. All right, so now I need to decide. I think I know which one I want to use. Honestly, a lot of people um, I've I've been seeing have been using this waterfall um, collection, and it's gorgeous. Like it's really really pretty, but. I'm kind of leaning towards this one right here. The really bright. And I like those ink, like, kind of like just blotches. Like, somebody kind of like threw ink on the wall. And these birds, look at how beautiful they are. So I think I'm going to use this collection right here. All right, so let me grab my pages. So I am using the dashboard layout because I have promised you that I would be doing some more plan with me's in a dashboard layout to give you ideas on how to decorate this. I recently did a poll asking uh, what layout um, people had difficulty decorating and uh, almost half of you that answered um, had picked the dashboard layout. So I do have a video on how you actually can use the dashboard layout ideas for you. So I will go ahead and link that for you up in the cards here and you can go ahead and take a look at that along with the other sticker books that Cassie has out. I will go ahead and link those for you um, also in the cards up here throughout this video. So you could check out her other sticker books. All right, so some of the things that I like to use when I am planning, um, I like to have an extra sticker sheet here. So I just save the blank uh, sheets from when I clear out a sheet in my sticker book. And then I love the wax paper because it's clear so I can like kind of place it over my pages and see through there. It's a great way for you to like kind of figure out how you're going to plan things out. I'm thinking I want to keep the task list here because that's always nice to have. And I'm not sure if I want to, I want to keep one of these boxes open, but not all of them. But I can also um, add some colorful boxes on here to kind of help with also leaving that area very functional. So I'm going to grab my wax paper here and I'm going to kind of figure out a few different things. Just kind of getting an idea of how I want all of this to come together. And like I said, I like to use the wax paper because it just kind of gives me a good um, idea on how I want things to kind of balance out. And the reason why I'm choosing the center box to decorate as opposed to the top one is because I don't think I'm going to use this box for anything in particular. So I think this would be a good one to decorate. So um, I kind of like to do every other box this way and it's kind of like a nice balance for the spread. Um, so I'm going to bring this wax paper in right here and let's see now I think a blue box would be nice there so I'm gonna just grab this sheet and put the ones that I want to use all right so I sort of have a little bit of an idea of how I want to lay things out so I am going to come over here and cover a few things up so that way they don't like shadow through I grabbed a couple of quotes from a different sticker book, Summer Collections, from Amber Plans Her Day. 
because I don't know, I just felt like it, it needed a few quotes and that's really the one thing that um, is not in this sticker book, but that's okay. So I can go to another book for that. But if I didn't want any quotes, then I would not need to grab anything from anywhere else. So I'm laying this one down. The nice thing about using the wax paper is it does tend to take some of the tackiness off, which I have found very useful, like if I need to reposition a sticker. So I really like this one here because I think that's so pretty. It really like brings out the blue here. I'm gonna put these little boxes here. And then this allows me to write in and relabel the headings. And even if I wasn't relabeling them, it just adds some color to the spread. Kind of gives it a nice balance. So that's uh, one way to go ahead and use those. Um, and then I really like this. I really wanted to use that. So I'm thinking I might actually switch this one out and create my own cluster. Let's try that. Some of this like bright ink blot in here maybe. That might be like really pretty. Not so much the teal but like the green and that orange. So I'm thinking like down here and have that come in here and then I could add like a little box on there. That might be really pretty cool. So whenever you're trying to figure out layering, one of my tips is that um, don't ever layer a clear sticker over a paper sticker. I would layer the paper over the clear just because if you change your mind, you can remove the paper up off of a clear sticker easier than you can the clear sticker off of the paper because it tends to stick really hard on the paper and you might end up tearing it. So let's say I'm putting this together. I don't like the way that it's coming out. It's gonna be so much easier for me to pull this up. So you're gonna see that I'm gonna lay this box down like on the, the clear, but I'm not gonna like lay it all the way down on the paper because then it might get stuck. So I'm trying to kind of get an idea of how this will look. I think that that's really cute. And you do wanna be careful when you're taking things off of the wax paper because you can also like rip the wax paper or if the sticker's been on here for a while, it can still rip the paper. So I think I'm gonna bring this over a little bit more than what I had initially thought. And this is gonna definitely like come up here. I kind of put the box here. I think that that is a good placement. And actually I'm gonna move that one up cover that up and have this one come like that. All right, so here's the thing. I do not like this coming through. First, let's trim some things. All right, so this right here, I do not care for this blue box shadowing through. So I'm going to very carefully pick up this box. But before I do that, I'm gonna kinda of like figure out where I need to cut this. So there's different ways that you can get rid of this shadowing. You can use white out and just cover it up. Or you could do what I'm doing here and slice it off. And therefore, you're not like using a whole lot of white out. Now, I feel like this box looks a little bit um, light. So I feel like I need to add maybe some 
decorative elements. I just really kind of want to bring it in at the bottom here to kind of tie everything together. So there I was able to add in a little bit of color around there. Okay, I used that other little piece that I had cut off from down here and I just put that in there. I definitely want to use this tropical state of mind. And I think I just kind of want to sneak it in. Just like right there. All right, now I'm going to come over on this side because now that I changed a few things around, I want to make sure that this is going to come together. So I still like this idea of this box down here. And I like this bird, it's so pretty. Now, the only thing is, is I don't know if I want another bird up here or if I want to do more of like a scene like this with the um, leaves and such and have that up here. Because I feel like if I bring another bird in here, it's just going to be like too much. Or... I could bring in this one, but see like this one's a little bit too big for that and I don't want to cover up my day of the week, so I don't think I'll be using that one. All right, so I grabbed a few pieces here. I wasn't quite sure how I wanted to layer these, um, but I think I came up with an idea. So I'm going to start off by putting this down here here I'm not gonna like lay it all the way down because I'm gonna bring in this one I don't really want to like waste all of this sticker so Kind of cut around these branches here. And as it turns out, I really don't want much of this really in here. I just kind of wanted a little bit of it to kind of like peek through. So I'm kind of cutting it. See, here's the thing. I really like this little flower and I kind of wanted to keep that. So I think the only way I'm going to be able to do that is to kind of split this and have it kind of overlap, I think. Okay, I think that... It kind of works. I think that that's really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to bring in a box right here. I was going to do two, but I think the one is good. All right, I really like the way that this has come together so far. It's really bright and colorful. Now this, I need to add some of this like colorful ink in here because it definitely needs it. It's missing. So I'm just going to kind of like Grab it like that and like that. I'm just kind of cutting a corner. Lift up the box a bit and then like fit it like that. See, I think that will work. Yes. Okay, so now there's a few more boxes I think that I want to add, um, but not too many like big clusters. 
but just a few boxes just to kind of like obviously bring everything together so So I went ahead and placed those boxes down there and I really like the way that it looks. Um, and then I thought, you know, I'm going to take this one and I just want to grab a few little kind of like wispy elements from here. And kind of bring them in here. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, so I added a few little deco in through here, just a tiny little bit and up and through here, just to kind of bring it all together. I already had like the four big clusters on here, so that was good enough. And then I was just able to fill it in with the smaller um, boxes and the smaller elements. And then of course I added this quote here, enjoy the little things. I think that that's adorable. And then this tropical state of mind is really cute. And then I also added in some of the little um, dots there. So um, I think it looks really, really cute. It's super functional. There's lots of room to write lists, um, goals for the week, um, maybe highlight things that are coming up for the following week or um, just important events that might be going on. And then appointment, whoops, and then any appointments or lists can be put in here. So I love the way that it looks. I think it's so beautiful. Um, so that is Hidden Jungle by Kesthetic Plans. And like I said, I only used a couple of quotes. And those I got out of the new sticker book from Amber Plans Her Day, um, Summer Collections Volume 2. So if you are curious about those two quotes, that's where I pulled those from. Otherwise, everything else was from here. And honestly, I didn't even have to put the quotes in there. I don't know. I just kind of thought that they were appropriate, especially this one right here, Tropical State of Mind. So this is a beautiful sticker book. Um, I do have an affiliate link down below. So if you decide you want to pick this one up or any of her others, uh, I greatly appreciate if you use my link. And thank you so much. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. This was a lot of fun. I know that I like to like kind of take my time and get really creative with all of the little um, elements, but I have a great time doing it and that's what it should be about. You should be able to sit down with your planner and have some fun with it. And, you know, don't worry about being particular with things. You know, if you're happy with the final outcome, then that's all that matters because it's your planner. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe if you have not done so already. Hit the notification bell, that way you'll be notified when my videos come out. And thank you so much for joining me today. Drop a comment down below and let me know if you might pick up the sticker book and I will see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.